welcome back. Today we're going to learn the advanced method for the 4x4, also called the Yao method. Since this is my video for the advanced method, I'm going to assume that you already know how to solve the 4x4 using the reduction method. If you don't, stop this video right now and you can check out my channel. I have a video on the easiest method to solve the 4x4. After you're done with that, then you can start the advanced method. So the first step of the Yao method is the same as the reduction method. You'll get two opposite centers. I'm not really going to go over this because I assume you know how to do this. I like to start with white and yellow, but since this is the advanced method, it's perfectly fine to just go color neutral. Maybe you'll do red and orange, blue and green, but you just have to get center here and the center here. The next step of the reduction method would be to get the next four centers. However, in the Yao method, right now we're going to make our cross edges. So what that means is we're going to pair up pieces that will eventually be in our cross. It's really easy to do this because we don't have to worry about messing up these centers because we haven't built them. So I just made this, and then I'll look for green. And then you see I can just do R2s and other moves freely because I don't have to worry about um, I don't have to worry about messing up these centers. I'll look for my orange, put that in. So what you want to do is you want to make three cross edges. Now you're going to want to put one in the wrong place on purpose. As you see, normally this would go blue, orange, green, and red, but I put the green here. This will come up later. So basically just put one cross edge in the wrong place on purpose. Now, as you can see, we have some bandages on the cube. We have this yellow center that we can't mess up, and then we also have three cross edges that we can't mess up either. So all we have left are these three slices and then the top face. We're gonna use these to get our remaining centers. Our first step is to build three half centers. So half centers are only two pieces, this is four total. So this is orange. Think about what color would be on the back. So the opposite of orange is red on the Rubik's Cube. So I'll build a red half center up here on the top. Then I'll move this down. Now the next color after red would be blue. So I'll build a blue half center on the top, and I'll move it down. Now next after that would be orange. So I'll pair these two up and bring it down. So now we've built three half centers and now we won't have to do any more cube rotations because all of our things are in place and we'll just use this as a building layer. So start with the one on the bottom. So it'll be blue. So just move this. Here's that blue piece. Here's the other one. And I'll move it down. So then you can either do front or the back next. I'll just do this front one. Now you have to remember, it'll be really easy just to, I don't know, maybe do something like that, but that will mess up your cross edge. So you have to think in Yao and think, how do I get this orange bar down here without messing up any of my centers? So you can go like this, then There we go. Now we've built our orange center. Now our last one is red, which is back here. Once again, don't mess up your cross edge. So here, and back. And now once we've built five centers, of course the last one's going to be built because it's the only place where there can be any left. All right, now that you've done that, oh, that's lucky. So this just slipped into place, but I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen because it's sort of lucky. So. What my next step will be to do is put two together like this. And now this is where that on purpose wrong place is gonna come in. So once you've built your last cross edge, you're gonna push this out of the way. And then when you bring it back, all four should be in the correct order. Now this should be pretty easy after this, but there's still a few more Yao tips that you're going to have to learn so that you can do edge pairing really efficiently. Our next step is going to be to finish all of our edge pairing. So as you can see, since we have white on the bottom, we'll never have to look at the bottom again 
which is good because it just reduces cube rotations, which reduces time. It all sort of builds on itself, which is sort of the basis of the Yao method anyway, just reducing useless moves and dropping time. So what we're going to do is advanced edge pairing, which basically pairs up multiple edges at once. So you'll start by just doing a slice. Oh, and this one got paired up. So what you want to do is before you slice back, you'll want to set up the cube. So when you slice back, you build three edges. So I can see here when this slices back, it's going to go on top of this piece. So I want that piece to be green and orange. Here's that green and orange piece. Now I have one of my pieces in. See when it's sliced back, that'll be fixed. Now I go to the next one, blue and red. So I want blue and red here, and it already is. Go to the next one. I have blue and orange here. Here's the other blue and orange. And there we go. Now when I slice back, I've built one, two, three edges. All right, now there shouldn't be too many left. If you still have a whole upper face of edges to solve, you can do edge, uh, advanced edge pairing one more time. But if you only have a few left, you can just do normal edge pairing. And then I'm going to assume you know the paired error for the last one. Since this is the advanced method, I'm going to assume that you know your parity algorithms. But if you don't, you can look at my uh, standard method 4x4 tutorial on my page and it explains them there. This method might seem slower at first, but believe me, this is a much faster method than the reduction method. Just keep practicing, maybe watch this video a few times, and you will drop time. If you want to see more tutorials, you can check out my page. I hope this video is helpful to you. For the future, good luck.